Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Happy iPhone release day. This lighting's crazy. I'm so excited. I'm vlogging today because I'm getting my new iPhone. First of all, though, I want to show you the Friday fit. It's jeans day, definitely, with my uh, jean, like, button-down shirt. And yeah, first up, as you guys know, we go to Starbucks, gotta get that coffee. I've been getting my espresso drink, like the three pumps espresso and three pumps vanilla as like a usual kind of with the pumpkin cream cold foam. It's so good. And since I've been getting up at like 4.30, I need the espresso to like help me out. But today I got sleep in and we're just gonna get the normal iced coffee. So let's go. Got the coffee, just got the usual drink i don't know if i told you guys but i tried um the duncan version instead of like just normal which is fine like i don't really care and it was actually pretty good but i think i'm gonna try the sugar free version next time if i get duncan um so it'll just be like you know regular vanilla but i'll probably do like an extra pump just because it is sugar free i don't know it'll probably taste like shit but i don't know i'll try it when I go back just because but the coffee wasn't bad it was very sweet and everything I know that this is not part of like the iPhone part but you can just skip it so Duncan's is good but there is a slight slight taste of foxtail coffee and it's like the aftertaste and i think my friend and i were talking and it must be the bean that they use the type of bean because after i have like starbucks there's no weird like this aftertaste like i don't know how to describe it but there's like an aftertaste in foxtails coffee that i do not like i've tried everything that i drink at foxtail i've tried the espresso i've tried everything and there's always this a very distinct like aftertaste and i'm not it's just not the vibe i don't think i can go there and have a coffee and especially because it's like expensive and stuff i just can't do it and duncan's is kind of like that but i'm thinking maybe it's the flavor of the syrup so maybe i'll just get the almond milk and try that or the sugar-free vanilla there is that slight taste. It's not as strong as Foxtail, but Dunkin's does have this like weird aftertaste and I just don't know what it is. Or maybe like literally all coffee tastes like that and it's Starbucks that's different. And I've just gotten used to like Starbucks's taste. I do like though how Dunkin's coffee is uh, lighter. Like it's not as bitter tasting, if that makes sense. I don't know. But I guess I've just gotten used to Starbucks and this aftertaste thing is just driving me crazy. Next up, I know, let's talk about the screen protector dilemma. Okay, so this is so silly when I say this, but putting on screen protectors is like such a crucial thing and I get so nervous putting on the screen protector and one of like this close family friend of mine, she's from like Washington State, you guys have met her. I did a video. She's one of my shaman sisters, but I know that it takes like too long to explain what that is. So anyway, I just say we always, well, me and one of my other shaman sisters just say like close family friend. This girl is from Washington and she came and she's like into like tech and stuff. So I was like, this is back when the iPhone 5 was like popular. I was like, oh, can you put on the screen protector for me? Cause I knew she'd probably do a really good job. And she did. And it was like perfect. And there was like no hairs and like no nothing and it was just so amazing and that was before like the guides were a thing like you know the guides to help you put on the screen protectors anyway I digress so for this iPhone I ended up getting sorry it's like really loud because there's a freaking motorcycle next to me I ended up just ordering a screen protector on Apple and I'm gonna be honest like the thing was like 50 bucks and I couldn't believe like I spent that on a screen protector and you only get one like it's not like you get at least three so you can mess up two times and when I say mess up I'm not necessarily saying that I'm messing up like putting the thing on because I'm doing a pretty good job at that now now sometimes you can get like a millimeter off which still bothers me but it's fine like the one that I have on my phone now there's like a slight angle and like it's not on completely straight, but it's fine. Now I'm just showing my like OCD-ness, but it's fine. The thing that I have a problem with 
is like hairs underneath or dust particles underneath the screen protector. So I always get stressed out that there's gonna be a hair or something. And how I really check this, like how I check if there's any like hair or whatever, I just turn my screen on and it like on a white screen and you will, you'll be able to see it. So the worry I face is getting hairs underneath the screen protector and only having one. I did my due diligence and I got a pack of three on Amazon just in case. Oh, everyone's stopping now. Back to what I was saying. I got a pack of three on Amazon for like $6 and that is just in case I mess up on this one like $50 screen protector I bought. That was a long story for just a little thing main point but I felt the need to say it in this video because yeah screen protectors just like stress me out so when I do like the unboxing or whatever I always turn off the camera and like have my moment putting the damn thing on the screen. I hate that we still have to use screen protectors but like honestly you do get like hairline scratches just from like your fingernails and like keys touching it so it's just it's good safe measure you know to have a freaking screen protector on the phone and then to finish this little chit chat in the car with you guys because i know y'all love these parts this girl at starbucks she was like cleaning the outside tables she was like I love your outfit and I was like oh my god thanks it's just so nice it's like good to start your day and I don't know just good energy and the coffee was made really well today I think I just ran over a bouncy ball someone a little kid must have thrown it out of the car or something okay so that is going to be it for this random car parts chit chat in the car with me part of the vlog I don't know if I made any sense but I'm going to enjoy my coffee and my drive to work with some YouTube videos because that's just what we do or podcast but since uh, I have some YouTube videos to watch I normally list YouTube videos that's the one good thing about driving like a long time like you have time to like absorb content and like listen to things that's like the only good reason but it's fine okay so I promise you I promise you that it is later in the day, obviously, uh, but I am on my way to pick up the phone. I'm probably gonna eat something first, um, just so then when I, you know, leave, I can just go home and set up the phone and do the unboxing for you guys. Um, I'm so excited. Yeah, I've been thinking about this phone. Also too, I was like watching unboxings and there was like a, I don't know, the guy said something about an eSIM and I was like, oh my gosh, like does my carrier, cause I go with like a third party carrier called Cricket and it's like an off brand of like AT&T. It's like a lot cheaper and stuff. So that's why I just get the unlocked phone. So I don't have to, you know, like worry about my phone and everything um, being too expensive. So I was like, oh my gosh, like this new phone does not have a SIM, like a SIM card reader. Like you don't put a SIM in it. That sounded weird. You don't put a SIM card in this device. So I'm like, uh, what am I gonna do? Like when I pick this thing up, like how do I do it? But I guess there's just like prompts and stuff. And now Cricut allows for e-SIMs. So everything's good, everything's fine. Um, I was just like really nervous about that. So it is raining outside as I've stated before, but I'm on my way to pick up my new phone. I made it to the mall, got a good, pretty good parking spot, which is good. And yeah, it's about 6.20. I don't know if I'm just gonna get the phone or eat before. It depends on the line. So we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so I literally have 10 minutes to eat this because then it's gonna be 6.45 and I can eat this pretty fast, trust me. <laughs> and it wouldn't look any different. Look at the line still. Like, it's currently almost seven and look how crowded it is. <laughs> Waiting in this long line now. So crazy. Okay, so I was at the wrong side. I was over there, but they moved me over here, so. 
it's a lot shorter of a line, so hopefully this process will be a little bit faster. So because we have to wait in this a long line, the apple store gave us water. How funny is that? I've never experienced anything like this. He was just like walking around and like, do you want water? And I'm like, sure. So, so funny. the goods <laughs> okay guys i'm back and obviously looking a little rough lighting's a little weird but to unbox this for you guys because that's what the video is so this is the box obviously so let's open her on up so there's these little tabs i didn't get the iphone 13 because i get the new phone every two years my box came i think it was still the um cellophane it was like clear wrap but now we have these really cool paper tears and then here she is oh my gosh it's so pretty there's already a little dusty on her but look at how pretty so i got the white one because i feel like with any case or whatever like it'll just match better look at that massive camera holy cow that's insane so i got the white one because i wanted it to match and honestly i feel like white's just a lot more timeless and um let me take it out so taking it out i hope i don't drop it oh my god that'd be horrible so as you can see there's no uh port anywhere that you can put a sim card so that's where the eSIM comes into play which i freaked out about but that's the side of it and then yeah i'm so sad i'm gonna have to touch the sides of it for now the lock button is a little bit lower than the iphone 12 pro so this is the 12 pro this is the 14 pro and as you can see like if i put them back to back they're pretty much the same phone hold on let me just oh my gosh i'm gonna like scratch up the camera already i'm going to take off the case i love this case so much and case why isn't making the bronze anymore which i'm really sad about but it's fine let me just take this case off so I can do a little comparison. 12 Pro, 14 Pro. Look at the camera. 12 Pro, 14 Pro. Look at the camera is massive. And then putting the phones. Okay, so the thickness, it is a little thicker. It's thicker than a Snicker, the new one. So as you guys can kind of see, um, it's a little bit thicker, not too much. And they're the exact same size. And the reason why I wanted to go with the Pro instead of the Pro Max, it's because like I like to be able to hold my phone in one hand. And with the Max, I got the XS Max, the 10s Max, a while ago. And like when it came out, and it was just so hard to hold. Like I couldn't text with one hand. And sometimes I need to do that, obviously. So I just go with the smaller phone. The internals are the exact same as the big one. It's just the battery life lasts a little less, obviously, because of size. That's the reason why I go with the smaller phone, because I can't hold the bigger phone. And now I've gotten prints all over it. I'm so sad, but it's fine. What we've all been waiting for... Well, first, I'll just show you guys. The charger, it's the USB-C port. It's the same one that I have with the high-speed charger, which I just use Valerie's. We get our classic Apple sticker. I think they changed the paper on this. This is looks like a recyclable thing. You no longer need a SIM card. Activate your eSIM during iPhone setup. So uh, it comes with this little thing saying you don't need one of those like things to unlock the sim thing obviously like the fine print and everything what we've all been waiting for the satisfying peel and sorry if there's background noise our air purifiers here so it, you might not be able to hear anything but it's just paper anyway look it's so pretty Oh my gosh, I can't wait to check out the Dynamic Island. Anyway, now I'm going to go stress out about a screen protector and I will be back. I'll let you know how it goes. Pray for me. While my iPhone is getting all like set up and stuff, 
it has to update and then I'm restoring it from my backup from my old phone. Okay, this $50 screen protector was worth it in the end. It's on completely straight, everything. I do have a couple hairs, but one is not even like on the screen. It's like on the side and then one is up here, but I think that's just like an air bubble and it will definitely settle down like once the screen protector's on. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with my phone right now, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna finish setting this up, but overall the screen protector is really good. I think it's gonna work out well in the end. Uh, fingers crossed, I don't know, but it's, at least it's on straight and there's no like hairs too much. But we do have a little Lisa Jr. So it's cool. So the screen protector came in this thing and then this thing like stretches open. See the rubber band? You place your phone in there and then you just place this on top like this. And then there's this little hole here. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it. So there's this little hole and you match it to fit it in right here. And then you press this down and then ba-bam like your screen protectors on. It's amazing. So anyway, highly recommend this. If I remember, I'll link it down below so you guys can like shop all this stuff. Um, but yeah, just thought I would give you an update on that. Oh wait, before I forget. So this green does not really match the green on the case. It's kind of weird. I just wanted to note that like it's a little bit darker green like in person. I've got to finish this. But anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see like a what's on my iPhone because I love doing those videos. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.